I didn't realize you were in the house. It crept up on me. By which I mean, uh, there's no reason you shouldn't be in the house. It is your house, for God's sake. Paul, huh? well, how are you feeling? I'm fine. Absolutely fine. I know all about it, you know. Uh, I know you know. And I'm glad, in a way, you know. And I'm glad that you know I know. I mean, you know. Jesus, Jeff! That mate of Clive's with the obvious rug. Jesus. Why don't we um, sit down and talk about it, eh? Paul, are you sure you need that? If ever a situation called for getting blind drunk, I would say that this was it. Wouldn't you, Jeff, honestly? Well, I'm afraid I wouldn't. It's only a question... Oh, what's the point? <sighs> Sue Drake all over again. Will it never end? Paul, listen. Paul, wait a minute. Listen to me. Hi, Dad. Hi. Dad, you're young. So weird. Indeed. The good old days. I'm afraid things have rather changed since then. Indeed. Edwin, watch. I think you should leave. Why? Oh, do you two want to kind of hug and stuff? It wasn't precisely what I had in mind. Oh, we were just looking at the videos because... He knows, Rich. Oh. Shame. I don't think the young people should be forced to watch this, do you? No, it's cool. We really like it. The Krasinski twins are wicked. It's that really funny bit with the baguette. There's... Yeah, I don't mean this. I mean... Look, Edwin, watch. Just go. I don't see why I'm surprised... Edwin, please. I think I know how you must be feeling. Jeff, you don't have any idea how I'm feeling. You have no conception. I can try, Paul. I can try to understand how you feel. Wait a second. You're saying... You're saying that you all knew about each other? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, Estelle was obviously... I mean, you know, in the middle. Pulling our strings, so to speak. But, but how can you sit in my house and look me in the eye and tell me these things? It's only a bit of fun, Paul. <laughs> I can remember one hilarious night when some of us were upstairs in your bedroom and you were downstairs and we thought you'd rumble us. And that mate of Clive's with the obvious rug said to Nobby's friend... I'm really sorry. I, I, I can see you're finding this upsetting. Well, just a little. I mean, involving Edwin, for God's sake. Oh, Edwin's been crucial. He's been getting the videos of all of us. Rory. Whoa, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I know my eldest son better than anyone else in the world. And if you think that he'd have been happy to be dragged into this perverted scheme, then you've got another thing coming. Paul, there are only a few tapes. Paul, come on. Tell me what you're feeling. Get out of my house! Go on, get out! Out! You need help. And I work for the National Hills Well, my name is Paul Slippery And the National Hills I'm 
Have you got a dock? And is it the right dock? Dad? Darling, it's a question. Your father has an extremely serious drink problem. He's on his way over to talk to you. He is extremely dangerous, Rory. It's, it's Peter here. He is in urgent need of therapy. Look, I told you, I can't talk about this. Bloody Daniel's about to fire me. Look, I told you, I'm in the middle of an important meeting. I can't... Rory, you don't seem to have got hold of this. Your father is extremely dangerous to himself and others. Now get out of there while you have the chance. He's full of rage and despair. Jesus, he is here. Get out of there, Rory. Get out now! Oh, hey! Uh, excuse me. No, it's all right. I'll handle this. Nice. Sit down. Um, so, so that that's, um... Let's, let's get to the main event. This is um, my redundancy plan for side streets. Ah, redundancy? Good idea. Cut out the dead wood. No, don't, no, don't cut out the dead wood. You've got to save wood. Wood doesn't grow on trees, you know. Shut 